Okay. Yeah. Actually, it's a little bang as it as it you know hits the carpet. The little explosions are kind of interesting yeah. because some these tiny ones, but they're actually sonic booms because the evaporation process happens so fast that the sound waves, um, you know, that it, it kind of exceeds the speed of, of uh, sound. So. That's it. So I put this weird bell in here, and as I was putting it in, you heard it kind of clinking and clonking, and it wasn't making very much noise. Um, we'll leave it in there for another minute or two, and uh, allow it to cool down. Okay, this is a quickie. Uh, some years ago, there was a terrible disaster called the Challenger disaster. I don't know if any of you have ever read about it. You'd be too, too young to have, to have appreciated it. But it was to do with, did you see how wiggly this end of this piece of stuff is? This is neoprene, and it's used to make little ceiling rings. They call them O-rings. And the O-rings go between two pieces of metal to make sure that there's a tight seal. And the Challenger and has... you guys these do know the Challenger, she's talking about the shuttle. The space ship. Okay, yes, yes. it's the space shuttle, and it, it has fuel tanks. And the fuel tanks had these O-rings in them to make sure that there were no leaks in the fuel. But unfortunately, there was a miscalculation on somebody's part, a bad decision, and the fuel and the Challenger was allowed to sit on the on the launching ramp in Florida during very cold weather, and uh, uncharacteristically cold for Florida. And so this stuff got cold, and it took a Nobel scientist to figure out this out and make it public. But what actually happened was that this stuff is no longer pliable, no longer plastic, no longer makes a proper seal. And that's what happened with the Challenger and fuel got out because this was not sealing properly as it should have done. And so this is one of the things that's kind of interesting, the changes in properties of materials when you change the circumstances. So if you change the temperature, for instance, the properties or the things that this thing does, this piece of neoprene does, become quite different. And people who've studied this, this kind of science, are called material scientists. And I can highly recommend it to you. That field is a growing field, and it would be a very good place for some of you to look for jobs for the future. It would be very right. good. And the but tragedy it, behind that was because that old rain froze like that, the people that were on that spaceship, and it was the first feature to go on board, it exploded. And they all died. You guys remember that? The Challenger? Yeah. 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 That was in yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. So this is the kind of thing that happens if you don't pay attention to, um, to the details of this. Now, having said that, and you're all here, we have this nice school bell which refused to work before because it's actually made of lead and it makes a miserable sound. Now we've cooled it down, its properties have changed completely. It's much harder. It makes much better bell metal. Almost makes a good ring, right? So you know what, guys? Class is <laughs> 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 Okay. Can we so